Charles has been with us for 10 years. Uh, he's been promoted four times. And there's something that's unique about him that I just don't see many places, and that is he's a quiet leader. There's a saying that I always think of when I think of Charles, and it's attributed to St. Francis, preach the gospel at all times, and when necessary, use words. Uh, people are drawn to him. Uh, they respect his leadership, and they see what has accomplished, what he's accomplished, and what they think they can accomplish because of his encouragement. So on behalf of our organization, I'd like to say congratulations, Charles. We're very proud of you winning the 2016 Achiever of the Year Award. You deserve it. My name is Charles Jackson. My job title is General Manager for the Goodwill Round Rock location. Been here about 10 years. My wife and kids call me Mr. Goodwill. <laughs> I make sure that we make our production goals daily. I have to make sure that all the clothes are in their proper sizing and category. I have to make sure that cashiers are greeting every customer, make sure that the whiteboard is updated. Every day I walk in the door, I feel we're gonna achieve something huge. I don't know what it's gonna be, but I, I just feel it's gonna happen. 20 years ago, I would've never thought I would been here at Goodwill. How my life was before Goodwill, I was playing both sides of the fence. In the daytime, I was manager of a rent-owned company, and then at night, I was being a drug dealer. And that's what caused me to go to prison. I was, I was basically doing it to try to support my family. I was trying to give my sons everything they asked for. The night when I got caught, one of the officers that arrested me, he told me my life was never gonna be the same. And that was a very true statement. I was in prison for 24 months. When I was locked up, my sons played for the city championship against each other. The score that day was 21 to 14. My sons scored all the touchdowns and I wasn't there. That really, that crushed me. That, that, that got me. My kids needed me and not needed the money, they needed their dad. I can't do this to these people no more. When I came home, I, I knew I needed to get a job. And I did apply at almost 20 different places and they said no over and over, no's. My older sister, she knew about the struggle that I was having and she was like, you really need to look into Goodwill. But when I walked in here, I felt that there were some people that cared about you coming in these doors and getting employed. You gotta remember, I was walking around, I thought I had convict on my forehead and then to walk in and someone greet you with a real big old smile and how are you doing? There was a position open as a store manager. I applied for it, I got that position and uh, the, that was the lifeline. I, I needed that at that moment because I could have went back to prison if I couldn't find employment. But I knew I didn't want to disappoint my family again. So I wanted to be the best manager that we had here in Goodwill Central Texas. That was my goal. I like to go in and I like to set the tone of the day. I'll give everyone high fives. I come in with the encouraging words. I call my staff in and just let them know what we did the previous day, what we're looking at trying to do today. My experience here at Goodwill has allowed me to be able to sit back and enjoy my family. The other times when I was out selling drugs and moving around, I mean, I was too busy looking over my shoulders and worried somebody was gonna kick my door in. Goodwill has given me the opportunity to teach my kids that. I fell, but I got back up. It's not about the number of times you fell, it's the number of times that you get up. This is a beautiful day. It could be raining outside, this is a beautiful day. And I feel it's a beautiful day because I'm not incarcerated. I feel it's a beautiful day because I woke up.